Hey golfers, PGA teaching professional Todd Kolb here with another segment of Teaching with Technology. And today we're going to take a look at weight distribution on the feet in the terms of the golf swing. Where should the weight be right and left at different points of the swing? But more importantly, where is that weight positioned on the foot? Now one of the beauties of teaching with technology these days, I've got my swing catalyst system here, is that I can tell when a student comes in exactly where their weight is positioned on their foot. Not only the percentage, but is it on the toes, on the heel, and where is it at any point of the golf swing? Now today I've done an example of one of the most common things I see with amateur golfers and one of the biggest reasons why they slice the ball and they lack consistent contact with the golf ball. So what you're going to notice here, I've taken both of these swings to the top of the back swing. The first thing I'm going to point out is that I have pretty much the same distribution of weight in terms of right or left. Over here on the, I'm going to call it improper swing or bad swing, I've got 73% of my weight on the right foot. Over here I've got 81%, almost, almost identical at the top of the swing. But there's a big difference in where that weight is positioned. On the good swing over here, notice by the color code right here that that weight is very even from toe to heel. It's almost right in the middle of the foot. This is exactly what we're striving for as a golf instructor. I want to see my students be able to do. Over here on the incorrect one, we'll call it, the weight is definitely on the toe. Almost all of the weight is on the toe. Even though I've got 73% 73 there, which is good, it's almost all on the toe. Now what's going to happen? Number one is you're going to lack any power at all because you're swinging from your toes. You're not going to be able to hit the golf ball solid. You're not going to be able to shape it the way that you want to. Also, this pattern is going to continue. So if we look at the impact position, we're going to see a very similar trend and you're not going to be grounded. The ground is a great source of power and speed. So when you make a backswing, you want to get the majority of your weight, yes, over on your right side, but also be aware where that weight is at. Try to get it even through the entire right foot versus out on the toe. If you do that, you're going to see more consistent ball contact and therefore you're going to hit better shots and shots that go that much further.